Alright guys, welcome back to a bit of Rack. The game everybody is talking about, and oh my god, there's a secret here. Well, that wasn't really a secret, it's fairly obvious. So now we're going up the lift, and uh, let's see what we have in store. So, uh, to start off this episode, we got uh, what looks to be a new weapon. And it's uh, a pulsar. And it's not exactly what you would think. It's it's a it's a, it's a basically a rapid fire weapon with fall off because it you notice how the weapon goes down. It does a crap ton of damage though. That's what it's meant for. It's meant for mowing people down with a high amount of damage only if you're at close range though. So it's it's the kind of ammo you actually want to save. Oh, uh, there's you know there's this right here. Look, there's up. I have a more ammunition, so there's really no point in me not using it at this point. That everybody? So that's essentially what this this is basically just a mow down. It's a mix between like a kind of a close range minigun, I guess I could best describe it as. Uh, kind of a neat weapon. It's not it's something nothing you'd use typically though. You'd use it situationally. Uh, so like you know, you use the shotgun and the pistol more often than anything else. Alright, let's see how bad I did. Treasure. Missed like 11. Missed one secret though. Yeah, I'm not very fast at this stuff. Anyone could have told you. Alright. Oh, that's neat. I like the ceiling. Well, let's go pick up some more 5 health. There you go. Sneak up on them. Oh no! <laughs> that one knew. He was up to my trick. Uh, yeah, I just assumed they would all blow up. Nice. It's got some interesting kind of like physics to it as well. It's got like the, the things that kind of just explode and go all around. Kind of neat. One of the things I do wish about about the pistols, I don't know, but I wish I could kind of fire faster when you when you click on it more. Because the thing about uh, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily feel weak. It it does exactly what's supposed to, right? But you know, I always thought like there's a lot of weapons that have a bit of kick to them when the, you know that you can fire them faster. Although you know, to be honest, not a whole lot of games do that, and I can't I can't like it's not something I would really fault. The game for necessarily doing it is a great weapon, though, and it's in itself. Like my my complaints are minor. It's not even a complaint. It'd be kind of just like, what if? But it's not. It's not. It's not necessarily about what like I think. Oh god, purple thing. Uh, it's all. It's also about like the developer's vision as well, uh, for what he wanted the weapon to be. So you know, I can't. I can't say anything. Cause it's good. It's good as it is. Oh, come on, pull them up. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now, what could be down there, I wonder? I don't know. Let's, uh, I just want to see what's this way first. Okay, both of them are kind of pl things that you can go up to. I really shouldn't be using the shotgun for this. I think I'll just range them up here. Ah, oh, spinning again. Oh, God, everything's spinning, actually. Actually, I think it's just because there's a uh, when there's an explosion. That's what they. That's how they kind of are handled. Now that I think about it. All right, let's try. Let's try this one first. Let's, let's just see what's over there. Now the thing is, I can kind of just go hop on. Oh no, I can't hop on there. I just assumed I could. One second. I'm gonna try and do a jump on the onto the other side. Cause I am. I am genuinely curious if I can do that. Uh, Cause I'm. I'm looking out for secrets and. Uh, I don't know. That seems like it'd be something that. Also, I should probably kill the rest of them down here. So if I, in, in, in my inevitable fall, down to the bottom there. Alright, let's see. Whoa. Oh, there you go. There's gold here. Nope. I wonder if you can run faster when you're, like, going to the, kind of the side. Which is traditional with a lot of games like this. Oh, really? There's nothing over here? I am sorely disappointed. Uh, should we go down here first? Yeah, sure, let's go down here. 
Eh. Probably should just go closer to these guys, but yeah. So as you can see, um, Wreck really has no shortage of enemies, which is something I like. I've never really enjoyed facing like one or two enemy. Oh god, okay. One or two enemies at the same time. I thought that's always been kind of lacking in a lot of games. Uh, but this one, this one, yeah, no, it, it has no problem throwing like, you know, 15 of them at you. Or, you know, 20 or whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, good. I didn't die. So I kind of like, uh, I'm a speed demon, what can I say? I'm a speed demon except when it comes to dodging projectiles. Yeah. Oh. I should really stop using this sword. But I'm addicted, I can't stop. Ah. Oh, I still got hit by that thing. Oh, me. It's okay. That's, that's why we don't we play on this difficulty rather than bullshit. Oh, man, that's, that looks delicious. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, that was a turbo sphere, which is apparently the gotta go fast sphere. And, uh, sphere, bleh. And, uh, I totally caught me off guard. Um, I thought it was, uh, one of the other ones. What's the difference between it? There you go. We can't hit me. Try to hit me. I'm probably gonna get hit by everything anyways. I wonder if this is a key to get into a secret somewhere. No, it's not like it. Maybe over there? Oh, no. I, I, I was probably having the right idea, but I probably just executed it wrong. Because that, that's my assumption is, is it was for something like that. Okay, well I can't really... Can I, is there any point to me being up there? Oh, there's a pot of gold. I don't care. I, my thirst for gold is too high. What's damage to me when I feed my leprechaun tendencies? Alright. Man, that lava kind of makes me uneasy. Okay, so this one, this one's behind some gates. This is partially down? Okay. Oh, we can use this one, that's fine. Alright, we got enough of them. Oh, neat. There's a whole bunch of them up here, although I'd, I'm kind of wondering how I'm supposed to get up there. Oh, well, I'm probably, I'm not supposed to even go up there, but you know. A guy can try. A guy wants to explore. These purple guys always hit me, and it's because of their homing, directly because of their homing projectiles and nothing else. There you go. Now I wonder what what is the point in this place. Yeah, that's interesting. It's just I, I could have sworn I in one of the earlier iterations it didn't do that, but I guess that was done on purpose now or something. I don't know. Who honestly knows? All right. Uh, we can't go up there yet. Let's uh open up the door. And now I'll open. Oh. Yeah, I, I assumed that this was uh, a pulse rifle area. Not just because I recognize it, but because uh, it's in the middle of the room. It's like close quarters, so... Ah! Honestly, I should just kill those purple guys first, because it's just like, they're, they're the biggest threat to me at this point. Because they just have the one thing I, I am unable to dodge and always get hit by. Alright, let's go. I still really like the- Oh, I see! That's a way down. Okay, I understand it now. Because that, that lift doesn't let me go down anymore. Cool, okay. Everything makes sense now. Yeah. 
Oh, he was just about to punch me in the face, too. These enemies do not mess around. Oh, this is, uh... Yeah, and I'm 100% I'm guessing that Turbosphere was supposed to bring me over to that. That guy right there. And I just... Wow, that's gory. I didn't actually know I could do that. Nothing else does that except for the, the bodies. And this is the other one. Okay. Oh well, I, I squandered the power up that I should have used. So sue me. I'm still not really using the rest of this stuff. You know, this feels mighty like a, a place I should have a secret on it. Uh, nah. I know, I, I get like a little tingle. And then I'm like, oh, there should be a secret. Alright, well, let's hop down to this one. No, I've been here. Never mind. Okay, let's hop down to Oh, wait, you, you know what? You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll give the developer credit, okay? See how it's blue? This is yellow, which I got rid of. This is blue. And me, the dumbass player, <laughs> didn't see that. I went through the wrong door. Not like it really cost me any time, but still. I, I have to say, you know, he did do it and I completely ignored it. Uh. Now, I'm guessing that this door is not something I can open. Yeah. I'm going to get that purple one from, one from long range because he's the one that annoys me the most. And he hit me anyways in death. Oh. I don't know, they're, they're hitting his little friend there and they're not uh, doing damage, I think. I think, I don't know. It's just a mi minor observation. You know how I can kill these guys with one hit. Alright. You know, I, I saw lava and my, my first reaction is to quick save. I just want to blow up the barrels. I'm sorry. Can't a guy have fun? Alright. Oh, shoot. I probably wasn't supposed to blow up those barrels because I just realized I could get up. Oh, I, I could maybe still make it. Mike is determined to make this work. Ooh. Any pushies? Nope. Alright. can do it. Nope. <laughs> Can I crouch jump? No, I can't. Well, I guess that secret for forever remain. Well, I, actually, you know what? I, I don't think that's the way you're supposed to get up there. Because, you know, these jumps look kind of long. Okay, I'm not going to lie. You know, they, they, look, they look sketchy, basically. And there's probably another way you're supposed to do it. I should also mention, uh, there's no map in this game, at least I think. No. Um... Although it is pretty clear of where to go next, um, it's one of those things. It's important to know. I can't go into here. I mean, th these are non-linear level designs. Like they're just like you know, you kind of go in the direction you want to. Although it's pretty clear, like it's just kind of branching past, and you eventually get to the end, which is like, as I said, an, an old, older style design of game, long since uh, forgotten. Oh, I hate this guy. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore them. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to ignore them. I'm so glad I can one hit him. It makes the melee so much more valuable. Alright, uh yeah. Alright, we'll we'll open the, the door over here then. And that opened that guy, okay. Oh hey. Oh boy. Oh, I guess I handled them. I want to go up there for just a brief second. You're gonna have to forgive me. So we can go up here and we can get our gold. I mean, a obvious in the way there thing. And still cannot get up here. Huh. 
Well, I guess uh, I'll never figure it out because I'm retarded when it comes to secrets and games. Knowing me, it probably was those barrels I wasn't supposed to blow up before. But hey, that's just me. I'm kind of curious what bullshit difficulty is like now. But uh, if it's scaling like, uh, you know, a lot of the other old, older, uh, older style of fast-paced shooters like this, it's usually the projectile speeds go faster as well, so they're more difficult to dodge. I really should just like not use that. Oh god. And now I always have to go to the other side and do the same thing. I, I hear the other bot coming. There he is. It's kind of like a mirror. There's the same enemies on both sides. Guess it, you know. OCD, man. If, if they weren't symmetrical, I would just like... I'd be angry. Uh. <laughs> be careful, beware of those purple projectiles, man. Alright, and there's some shotgun shells, some armor, and a door. We got some purple guy right there. Alright, yeah, killed him. I have all the gold. Actually, wait, can we see? Maybe that thing down there open? No. It's got health and two little things there. Okay, it's a green door, apparently. Huh, interesting. Alright. Oh. Please come in single file sweaters. Come over here. There you go. I don't want to range them. I, I'll probably just take more damage if I do that. Alright, uh, we got shotgun shells and all that kind of jazz. Oh, neat little architecture there. Okay, so we can get back down there. The blue one opened. Okay. I wonder if that green one opens because it's like, uh, I don't know, blue and yellow? Oh, I guess what I was right. I figured it, I figured it out. Ow. I was immediately punished for it by falling in the green goop. Oh, I did it again. I just love the green goop. There you go. Now all these doors are opening behind us. Nope, still can't get up there. Upset. Huh. He hit a barrel there. Good stuff. So we gotta backtrack a little bit to... Oh yeah, that's right, because it, it's beside the tele... It, there's a teleporter to bring you back up. And then you go through the red one. Alright. Hey, it's a tech bot. Oh boy. He's shooting missiles at me, which are really, really damaging. He's the Macron. Ha! I get it. Oh, destroyed my only cover. This is a uh, a joke for the uh, the Quake 2 boss in case uh, or well it's they've been the boss in most of the Quake games so oh that one just destroys me Ugh. 
The only thing I can say I don't like about this boss very much is I... I the, the attacks are very difficult to dodge because of the fact you're on a platform like this. I'm gonna save it here. Must be my own demise. Oh god. Yeah, there we go. Okay, for, I thought this platform got destroyed before. I guess it's still here. Oh well. Well, that was my own mistake. I, I totally didn't see it that I can cover. I don't know why I didn't think I could just go behind it. Eh. Who knows? I missed one kill. I'm pathetic. Oh, wow. Well, uh, I guess that's it for this episode. I hope you're uh, enjoying this game, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.